Welcome back everyone to some more Kerbal Space Program. So, since we were not able to save Aldebels yesterday, we're gonna let him orbit around Kerbin some more and uh, we'll get back to him later and now we're going to try to get to the moon. So, right now... Uh, right now... So our plan is, we have some contracts to do science around the moon. Not on the moon yet, but around it. So let, let's just see this directly. So the, la the, the, the science we're going to do is gather science data from space around the moon. So it will be in orbit around the moon. And um, it's three science points, it's okay. And some box. Then what we want to do is temperature surveys of the moon at different locations so the I, I'll, we're hoping that by getting an orbit around mo the moon we can uh, somehow get over all these areas we'll see how this works out and um, get those points from measuring temperature right above these locations still in orbit right oh no oh we can't do it all Ah, yeah, this, these are on the surface, which we're not going to do right now. This is below 7.2 kilometers, which I won't be able to do. But these two, above 9,600 and 11,000, I mean, I'm assuming that 7,900 7, is below orbit height. I don't actually remember how high orbit is on, uh, the, like, low orbit is on the moon. But whatever, we're going to try to do these two missions. And... Um, Anyway, I think, yeah, gather scientific data from the moon. We also have this, uh, um, how's it called? Well, the record keeping thing, it's a progression, like general progression thing. We're going to do the first part, and then next time we'll see if we can get to walk on the moon, which is much more difficult because we need a lander, we need to get it down, get it back up, and carry it all the way back and forth. So we'll see. Right now, though, we're just getting into orbit and doing some science. We're going to do temperature measurements which work for this one because this is just do any science this is do any science any scientific data so I'm just going to do and, and, and smash some temp they, they plug some temperatures um, th thermometers on the rocket and we'll see how this works out so here we are I've already been to the moon before offline so we're going to try and take the rocket I've already been to with and we'll add some temperature uh, thermometers which is a moon orbit spacewalk what's this sign I've never seen this this must be an update well whatever so as we assume there's no temperature measurement thermometers right now and we're going to add them right away so let's see so just a couple to make sure that we have enough. Three. Yeah. Oh, stay there, please. Okay. Just a couple, so that we don't have to look for them later. So I think that that's good. Actually, now that I think of it, it might be interesting to get some more data around the moon. But honestly. I don't know if this makes any sense. My barometer in space... Nah, not really. Just do some temperature measurements. So let's call this Moon... Mon Orbit Signs. That's it. And let's see if we can get this one to the moon. It's been some time since I did the mission to go to the moon and I don't remember how I did it. So we're gonna have to try and figure this out and use our beautiful uh, save points to do this. Hang on a second. I think we're facing the wrong way. Let's just fix this because I hate flying sideways. So let's turn the rocket around. If I recall correctly, we want to face straight out. Yeah, like this. So let's go. Let's go.
There we are, now we're facing the right way. So, let's get into orbit. Quick saving, and go! Okay... If I recall correctly, if as soon as I throw off the boosters, there's no way... Like, the aerodynamics is so bad, because we have no winglets on the bottom part, that we can only throw them if we are high enough in the atmosphere that there's no drag, or no significant drag. So... Let's see... Oh, we're, but we're very steep. I hope this is no problem. Well, at, least, at least we're getting high enough, quickly enough. Oh, Jesus, we're getting really high. Okay, so we can, we can already... Do our oh beautiful horizontal. I love this. So let's get our orbit going. There we are. Oh it's 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 a good orbit actually. It's quite a good one. So there we are. Come on, please. Do, okay, seventy. So now let's get back sixteen hundred one and a half minutes. We're really good on time. This is great. Great, it's working out. Oh, I don't have these strong reaction wheels. I should have added them. But whatever, if we fa fail, we can always add them, since it's so easy to get up. Yeah, I've remembered, this rocket was quite quite nice to fly. So let's wait until this is about, at about 45. And then let's go there with full throttle. Actually, it's a quick save since we're up in the atmosphere. Don't know if he does it by himself, but whatever. Okay, so then we'll have an orbit, and the moon right now is there. Oh, that's good for us. That's good. We can just do something like this and catch the moon. And we still have tons of fuel left. Granted, we still don't have an, uh, an orbit, but... Oh, how nice! I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. Is it F2? Um... F4, F6, F7, F8. No. Okay, whatever. I hope I did some screenshots. Because we have a beautiful Kerbin. Oh, we should do, be doing our burn. We have a beautiful Kerbin view with the this blue halo since we're on the shadow side, I think. And there we have the moon. So we we're pointing right at it. Which is quite funny. But yeah. So hope I didn't fuck it up there. <laughs> Looking at the beautiful moon and trying to take a screenshot. But I mean, what do we have quick saves for if not for returning back? So here we are. Yeah, it was actually the sun being on the other side and it's beautiful. I think I'm gonna take this and use it as a um how'd you call it? Background title image. Whatever, as the thing you see when you open the YouTube video. Also today we're only going to do an hour because I still have stuff to do and uh, yeah, I think an hour is still good. It's it's one YouTube video and yeah. Okay, there we are. We're almost there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, a little more. Beautiful. Not even too bad. 170. That's good. Okay. Let's quick save since we have an orbit. Now, another thing is we want to get up to the moon. So, how do we do this? We add a maneuver and we just accelerate much. Okay? Okay, that's too much. A little less until we get more or less to moon orbit. That's it. That's how you do it. And then you see that we're getting into the moon gravitational field. Now, let's see what happens if we turn this. The moon was further on. No, it wasn't. It was before. Where was it? Where do we intercept the moon? 
Okay, maybe I do have to accelerate a little more. Okay. Oh, there we are. There we are. Okay, now the intercept gets easier. Does it? Hang on. We're doing this. We're flying over there. If I can... Yeah, three days. One day. Okay, so it takes us one day to fly over there. Then we enter the moon um, uh, area of influence, I think it's called. No, the name's different. I can't recall. Like, we enter the space where we can um, um, break to get into the moon orbit. Then we leave it. So we're just uh, going to orbit the moon right here. Let's see if we can make this cheaper on fuel. I mean, right now it's... Oh, 700. It's really a joke, honestly. Okay, let's see if we can get it a little cheaper. We can... No, but it's ridiculous. The amount is ridiculous. There's no sense in making this any cheaper. So we're going to just make sure it works out. Ah, okay, there's the moon one. We'll encounter it. Ah, okay, I see. So let's just accelerate a little bit more. Great. 70. Let's do this. Okay, so let's do this. We're going to... This is going to take us one day and one hour and two hours to get there. And uh, it's going to be a short 22 second burn soon as we reach node in plus one minute. Hang on, did we turn this backward? We did. We already got past, which is... Hang on, in one minute? Okay, this makes no sense. It's not going to take us one minute to get there. Plus, yeah, we're past it. This is bad. Um, what happens if we... Come on. Don't you get stuck on me right now. I cannot... Oh, there we are. Um, yeah, it's still roughly the same. I mean, it's more... No, we're good. We're good. Right? This is the moon encounter in one day and three hours. Four hours. So we lost two hours, but it's not bad at all. This is a good point to do to take a quick save and then we're going to warp to our next maneuver which will get us towards the moon oh so let's actually write down those numbers now that I think of it yesterday we had some trouble seeing how much it cost us to get there so with this rocket it's about 800 I mean that's yeah that's more or less what we had for Aldebels too so now we're just missing one minute. We're over here. As soon as we get like ten seconds before the um how's it called? Maneuver. Oh, it tells us the delta V. That's nice. Okay, so as soon as we get there, we're going to accelerate. And then we're out to encounter the moon. So, what else is there? Nothing. It's good. It's good. So, Sorry I don't talk very much before the maneuvers because I'm I'm so good at missing the times. And I missed it so often that usually the last couple seconds I just concentrate on not missing it. <coughs> and uh, yeah. Well. Oh, come on. Don't miss. It. Oh, cheat. There we are. I think this is good enough. Do we encounter the moon? Um can we set this as our target? No. But we're encountering it. Oh my god. If we were to lose this, look at this. Oh my god. We would actually escape Kerbin. Shit. That's crazy. I didn't know this. This could be interesting to get like to Minmus or something. If we go so close around the moon, it actually takes us all around. Oh, that's cool. 
Well, I suppose it's really hard to time it right that you get around the moon and then to Minmus without having to do any other maneuvers. But it's not bad to know. Hmm. Huh. Okay. So, let's take a quick save and let's warp over here. So, there you see the moon approaching. We're getting there now. This is in one hour. This is still still a lot. Hang on. This is the encounter and this is the escape. So as soon as we encounter the moon, like say here, we want to add a maneuver and um oh shit. Orbital info surface info. It's so skewed around. Why is this so strange? Oh, because they we Okay, that's the, the direction we'll be around it. So, if we then break, okay, then our... Oh, shit, no, we can't do this. I see this now. I remember. Okay, so no, we're not doing this right now. We are... Actually, yes, we're leaving it there, just to make sure we don't pa go past it. Let's um, warp here, just to get the moon... Let the moon get closer. I'm always confused when it changes um, um, uh, center, like coordinate system, whatever. So let's uh, just warp past the encounter, because now, as you see, we got changed around, and now we're inside the moon, and we're moving backwards. It's really weird. I still, I'm still not used to it. Okay, so now this thing is all the right way up, and now we want to pull it low until we don't... Let's hope we don't crash into the moon. Oh, Jesus, are we actually crashing into the... I think I fucked this up. That's beautiful. I didn't know that was possible. Jesus. Okay, so the periapsis is uh, low, but we don't mind because the moon is, oh, 9,000. Now that I think of it, the moon has no atmosphere, so we can get as low as we want. We'll be able to take those things. No, not you. Where are you? Um, Kerbin, 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 moon. Oh, it doesn't tell us. Yeah, here, 9,000, 7,200. We'll take, we'll be able to make this. We will be able. So, let's just take this menu. Oh, I think we just passed it. Yeah. Okay, so let's move this one uh, the other way. Let's move it so we have one minute to plan. Okay. Actually, does this make our thing better? No, it lowers our periapsis. It's not better. Okay, so let's give us one minute to plan this, okay? I mean, any time, anyway, it's burn time of nothing, so, okay, now we are accelerating, no, we want to get to a periapsis of, let's say, yeah, 7.3 is good enough, I mean, we want to be below 7.9, 7.3 sounds like something we can do, and then, once we're here, we want an another maneuver, and we want to break, I love that you can combine these, okay, to then have a I love all the orbits get fancy. And lower the apoapsis until we get to 7 kilometers as well. Oh my god, I love this how this is taking nothing. Like, literally. I oh know, it is. Quite something. Hmm. I hope we're getting this right. Did I take a quick save? I'm going to take a quick save right now because you don't, you never have enough quick saves. So right now I'm also thinking that let's hope the moon doesn't have any mountains which are seven kilometers high that we can crash into. Um, oh, there we see. There we have to. Are you kidding me? Oh my God! I'm never gonna get those. I mean, we can always try to tilt or orbit, but honestly, this tends not to work out right. We might have to do one more. 
of these missions. But still, I mean, we're getting to the moon and we're getting this right. Yeah, you missed our check mark. I'm so bad at this. Okay, let's see. Uh, come on. Can't you? Oh! Shit, we missed the first one. So we're gonna have to move this one um, forward. Let's do two minutes because I'm always too slow for this. Okay, this maneuver. Now I think we're crashing into it. Yeah, we have to. Um, oh, yeah, we have to accelerate more. Okay, 7.9 right now. And then this maneuver will be put at the periapsis. There we are, more or less. Can we move this around? We can. Let's move it a little bit over there. Okay, great. So now we will, if it were to break a little more, maybe we can get it down. Not sure. That looks good. For now, let's see. 7.3, 8.11, 6. Okay, now, now it's getting down. So I think this could work out. This could work out for us. I mean, maybe we have to take a couple laps around it, but like 7.5, 8.1, that's good. That's good. It's a low orbit. That's where we're going to get there. And we still have one minute left. Great. So we have these beautiful two maneuvers to get down here, and let's hope that we then still have enough fuel to get back to Kerbin. So... You go away. Now, what I'm gonna do right now is, th um, yeah, limit our thrust so that we have more control of it. Three seconds, it's still too much. Like, too little. Five seconds, five seconds sound like, sounds reasonable. Because otherwise we're f much too fast and we can't control this thing anymore. So now we want to get the periapsis at 7k. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Did I overshoot this? <gasps> oh! I accelerated. What does this keep happening to me? Yeah. But apparently, it worked out for us. I mean, our periapsis is at 15k, which is too much. But we can also pull that down later. So, if we take this one and move it around a little bit, see, let's, oh, oh no, oh, it jumped. I hate when it does that. Oh, my. Let's pull the scale up a little bit because we're too far away. So, this is much better. There we are. So, we want to get our periapsis to. 50k? You're kidding me. How are we getting this much higher? Oh, no, 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 no. You go away. Oh, there it is. I hate it when it does that. It confuses me always. Okay, so this is good. Now we have a periapsis of... Yeah, that's too low. So we have to accelerate. Which, in, like, practically means decelerate. Which is nice. 300. Uh, let's hope this is enough, okay? I'm gonna quick save here right now. And let's just hope that with these 600 we are left, we're going to be able to get from orbit of Kerbin so far out of Kerbin that we can crash into the Earth. Into Kerbin. What am I saying? The moon. My God! So let's hope that we get this right. Let's hope it. So let's warp to it. <clears throat> let's not forget to turn towards the um, crosshair because I always keep forgetting that. And there we are. Oh, 
Oh my god, if we get this right, this would be great. Only I'm afraid we have too little fuel. I mean, we could get this one, right? The low 7.0, oh, that's the hard one. Well, I mean, the other ones we, we need, a, we need, we, like, we need a polar orbit to get these. I mean, if Kerbin rotates about its own axis, I don't even know that, you know? We'll have to check that out. Okay, so now we knew how to know how to do this, and I think next time we're gonna try and build a rocket to get a polar orbit to then get this um get all the other measurements. But right now we're still good. Let's check the apoapsis. It's cutting down, down, down. Six hundred, five hundred, four hundred, three hundred. Can we actually Yeah, that's much better. Always too slow with this. Always too slow. Come on, please don't. Okay. Oh, uh, there we are. 6.7k. That's good. That's good. We still have 630 left, which is good. We're at the apoapsis at 15k. So what we're going to do now is... Actually, how low is this? 6.7. And it looks like there's no mountain... Well, better safe than sorry. So we're going to add another maneuver here and just break just the tiniest bit. Yeah, just to get our apoapsis down so that we're below the uh, minimum we need for... There we are. So that we've been below the minimum we need for this point because it looks like this is right where we want to get. Actually, let's check this out. Let's warp here. <laughs> Since we now have our, um, our maneuver at the periapsis set up right. Oh. It's warping me slowly. It's warping slowly because we're so low. Oh my god. Well, just to see if we actually get get through this point. Because those points are usually... Um, they're very small. We might even lose it. But I think we can correct the orbit without much fuel waste to get over there. That's really... Oh, I don't remember the controls. Let's... Um, Stop warping. Okay, maximum zoom. Oh, you're entering the side. Yeah, we're getting it. This is great. How high are we, actually? Let's check this. 7.5. Oh, we can take the measurement. Jesus. We can take it. Yeah. Ha. We ain't got it. We don't even, to do the, we don't even need to do the maneuver. <coughs> Question is... How are we going to take the rest of them? Honestly, I'm afraid we might not even make it back to Kerbin with just 630 Delta V. But let's try this, okay? Let's try this. What we're going to do is we're going to try to take this one. So we're going to tie and tilt the orbit. I mean, we can actually do it right here. And so that we get down there. Okay, now so this takes too much fuel. Shit. A team. It's quite a lot. Say we want to take a polar. Oh my god. Does the moon not rotate about itself? My god. Okay, so this was would be what we need to get this measure. No, a little more. This one, apart from the fact, is this a below or above? Above, so we could do this. Wow, 120. This would be really good, but really... I mean, no, 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 we're not going to do this. This is not going to work up well for us. So, um... We're going to have to do the polar orbit thing. I mean, for those two, and especially this one, w there will be no other way to do this. So... Oh, let's hope that Kerbin has a rotation about its own axis. Because otherwise, we have a problem. We're going to have to tilt our orbit and use tons of fuel just to do this. And then the thing is, we'll have to go, we're going to have to tilt it back because Kerbin is on this horizontal plane. And if we like the skewed, if we like accelerate, our orbit gets all skewed and we get 
we end up down below Kerbin, which is not great. So let's see. Where, which direction are we moving? We're moving this way. Okay. So let's see what happens if we accelerate over here. Um, yeah, just... Um, oh, I forgot. It turns that way. What's this? Moon escape. Moon escape. Oh. I forgot this was hard. <laughs> I forgot how hard this was. This is accelerating, right? Okay. Um. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Let's just burn everything we have. Okay. We have a periapsis of... Does it tell us? 480, that's quite good. But it's not optimal, I'm seeing red. Okay, so this is 123. Okay, so this will take only 300. Oh my god. That's so little. That's so little. I mean, now we have a periapsis of... What would it be? 57. Like, if we were to... Does it accelerate? Yeah, if we accelerate a little bit more, we're getting below... I usually try to get below 30. So, so look at this. This is 27. Yeah, let's... I mean... I don't know. Let's get as low as possible. Just 24. Yeah, 24 should work out. That's only 350 delta V! That's so little! I'm gonna write this down right now because... Oh my god, this is gonna help us for eligibles. So, getting back to Kerbin is not 800, but 350. Maybe 400 for Eldebolt, because he's a little bit more, a little bit farther out. Also, he's skewed. Oh, well, no, but he's still around Orbin, so as soon as we're, like, with him. Oh, but I'm not sure, since we're not... Mm, mm, I see the problem. Well, let's put it in parentheses because I'm not sure this will work out because we'll have an orbit just like Aldebels and we're going to have it to make it smaller. But we're not around the moon, like, we're still around our um, Kerbin. So let's see. But we now know we can get definitely back to Earth with so little fuel. So what we're going to do is forget this maneuver and do our tilt. Because... Uh, should we? I don't know. Should we do this tilt? If you're watching this and you have an idea if we should do this or not, write in the in, in the chat right now. Because I'm really not sure if we should do this or not. Oh my god. I mean, we won't get the other ones. Because... Somehow it fucks, to, it fucks my, um... I, I can't seem to get the orbit tilted all the way. But it just throws me off. But maybe... Oh. I mean, this one you should be able to get. Like, really. We should really be able to do this. Um, let's just find the point. Um... Probably about here. Let's add this maneuver. And, um. Oh no, I still have to delete this one. I love a tool where you can just de de deactivate the maneuvers and, um. Okay, so this maneuver. And let's try to, um. Ah, this is the right view we want. So this is the thing. Okay, so we, we might even it might even be worth to pull it a little bit over here so we don't have to turn it that much. And then we turn it this way. Okay. It is the one with the lines, so No, it's not. Oh so dumb. Okay. 
So there we are. And it's um, not even that expensive. And we're getting higher. Which is not like not really bad, but still, I mean, it could be useful to get back to Kerbin. Are we over it with this? Oh my god, you can zoom so much into this. Yeah, this should be right over it. So 120, and then we have to rotate back, which I think we're going to do. Where are we? We're back here, and we're moving this way. So let's do this back here, this crossing point. Um, no, actually, no. Let's let's do this later, as soon as we've done our measurement. So, uh, yeah, let's warp to the next mover. Actually, let's take a checkpoint first, because we're in good shape right now, and we never know how how, how it's going to uh, end up. So, okay. How are we on battery? Electric? Great. So that's good. Yeah, that's the advantage not, of not having a huge reaction wheel. It doesn't even cost that much electricity. It doesn't consume that much. Oh my. We have low perapsis, so it doesn't let us warp fast. But well, we're gonna do this, and next time we're gonna figure out how to take how to make the polar orbit, so we can take all the other measurements. Eight seconds burn time. This is good. It's manageable. Let's move to the crosshair before we forget that, and it's too late. <laughs> and for these short maneuvers, it's really hard to get this right. Once you get past the moment, you just have to do another orbit. Another revolution, it's called, I think, in space. So, there we are. There we are. We're actually tilting. Tilting our orbit. So, actually, let me pause this. No. Hmm. Oh, I think, yeah, I think gather scientific data from the moon. I think you have to, yeah, you have to transmit it or get it back home. Oh my god, I have to accelerate. Jesus. Um, let's see if we get this. Oh, did I get this right? Beautiful. <laughs> always get distracted and then transfer code and take that from space around the moon. Okay, so that's cool. So we'll get these achievements as soon as we're back on Earth. Actually, now that I think of it, I can take more temperature measurements just to get the signs. Right? Let's just do some. Um, you can... Come on. Can I not turn you around? Please? Okay. Much better. This one. I want you... Log temperature. 24 signs! Are you kidding me? Oh my god. That's so much. Okay, let's just... Let's just... Log the temperature. Log the fuck out of this temperature. Okay, this one we've already done. This one... Okay, let's keep two to make this last... Come on, get away. Uh, this last measurement we're planning to do. Okay, now we want to get over here. What was he telling you? He was telling us something, but it won't be important. So now we have this. Okay, quick saving. Um, this is good. No, we want this to um, turn back. Oh no this way. I think we can actually see the inclination. Yeah. I think we want to get at 180. Is this possible? No. I think we want to align it with Kerbin's orbit, uh, with uh, the moon orbit around Kerbin. 
So we're going to do this. Um, whatever. Let's hope this goes right. Hang on. Can I? Can I? Can we correct this? By moving the point. We can. This is great. I think we're. we're I think we can do this. We can do this. Okay. So now we're more or less horizontal. Oh, 95.5. Okay, I think I think this is actually the inclination. We're getting this right, so maybe you can... Um, yeah. No, this gets us down. This... Six. Okay, we have 18 minutes. Okay, so 90... 79.7, 79.8, 79.8. Nine, please, please be nine. Yeah. Oh no. Then I get back down. So, so, may it be, may it be good enough. You never know, since it's such a big distance to get back to Kerbin, it's so easy to to fuck this up. And if we're too low, we're just gonna go past below Kerbin, and we won't be able to get there. Hundred and twelve. I mean, that's decent. We're going to be left with 400, which should be enough. Emphasis on should, but whatever. So, we have our... Oh, we're entering it! We can lock temperature. There we have it. That's it. Just take some more temperature measurements, just for good measure and for science. And let's get back. Okay, so quick save because we did the signs. I'm happy that we got this right. Right away. Like the tilting and there was right above it. Usually on Kerbin it's so hard to get it that you're right above it. No, it was quite easy. I'm really happy. Okay, now let's get, get the crosshair aligned. I should do a drill for this. Really? Like pilots should drill for... Okay, set your maneuver point, check the time, um, warp to the maneuver, <laughs> turn towards the crosshair, because I usually keep forgetting something and then it, it fucks it all up. Whatever. Okay. And it's nice that we can keep SAS on all the time and it doesn't consume too much battery. Yeah, we have tons of electric charge. So maybe it was good we didn't use the big reaction wheels. Because honestly, outside of Earth, outside of the atmosphere, we don't need them anymore. I mean, out here in space, you can just turn the way you want, and if you're not trying to intercept something, you usually don't need to turn fast, so... So now we want to get the inclination right. 70, 71, 72, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... And good. It's good. It's good. I'm happy. Let's see if we can make this better by correcting. I, mean, I don't think so, but yeah, I mean, you can try. Okay, 70, 79.9, that's good enough. That's good enough. Okay, quick save this, please. Hope I don't have to remember. I've done so many quick saves, I won't remember which ones when. But whatever. So, now let's get back. We still have 400 left. And. Oh, that was too much. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was too little. Okay, so we're just needing... Oh my god. It's so crazy. You need so little fuel to get back. Look at this. 326. We're at 30 kilometers above Kerbin. Like, we don't want to get any lower. Like, just a bit. I mean, a bit. This is too slow for me. Please. Oh. It's crazy how it gets slim. Why are we not able to pull down our periapsis? Maybe it's... Um... Okay, this makes us higher. Sm Um, oh shit! 
I forgot. This measurement is from the moon. It's oh my god, no. Ah, whatever. We're gonna have to do this by hand. I love if there was a tool for this. Well, there probably is, but okay. So 129. So, um, we can actually break this because we don't. Yeah. Okay. So now we're at 320. Now we can move it such that we have a low periapsis the lowest periapsis we can get. That's quite low. And it's a steep angle, but I mean, it's good, it's good. And five hours only to get back. Oh my god. That's so little. Oh, and it is in five minutes, so we should be quick. Because, honestly, as far as, you know, as I know myself, I can miss these five minutes because I'm, oh, let's turn the periapsis a little bit more down at five minutes and pass and I'm like, fuck, I lost the point and then I spent some days in space like this. Okay, so it's not 42k with 320. It's so crazy. Okay, so let's try to get this a little lower. Do we do this per breaking? No, we do this by accelerating. Let's see, 35. Let's get down to 25 or something. Oh, 11. That's a bit low for my taste. 18. Let's get to 20-something. I mean, we can always, if we have some fuel left, we can always break later on. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we can always. I think we can even do this without. I mean, 320. We have 400 left, so we have 80 to spare. With this, we can break. It's really good. It's really good. I'm happy with this thing. So, let's do, take a quick save and do this. I love how all the orbital things are all all over the place and you don't see what's happening here because the the um, origin changes. I'd like to learn this, but oh my god, this looks crazy. So, let's warp to the maneuver and do this. Cross here. I think I'm starting to get my drill. Oh. Please move there. So, oh, wait, we got it to 320 exact. There, oh, no. come on. Please stay here. Yes, that's it. That's it. So now we just have to wait for it. Oh, it's 20 seconds. Maybe we might um, want to um, pull our engine power back up so it's not such a long burn. Well, I like to be able to pull the throttle up with my mouse because it'd be so easy to say like, I want two thirds, no I want one third. And I always have to do it with shift and control and it's so easy to get them mixed up, at least for me, that I often get it mixed up, oh, I have to accelerate soon, that I often get it mixed up and uh, I'd like sometimes not to do a full acceleration, so, okay see if this is good. Okay. Periaps of 29 kilometers. Oh, I'm not sure this is good. This flickering is not looking good, but what were we planning for? We're planning for... oh. We're too low. We have to accelerate. Which we're going to do. No. Nope. Shit. What is it? Pull this more. Oh no. We did too much. We did too much. Lucky we still have fif just 58 left. Oh my god, we're not going to be able to break. Okay, so um, let's turn this way and try to correct this to get a, um, let's say, positive periapsis. Um, still a bit more. 20. 35. Let that, let that be good enough. 
Um, Thirty-four. I like it to be a little bit lower. Just a tiny little twenty-seven. We'll stay with twenty-seven, okay? So let's quick save and um, um, let's yeah m warp over here. Let's see if this is right. Yeah, it is right. It's crazy how this. Haha! <laughs> I love how he breaks before the. Um, center of origin change and then he warps he accelerates again as soon as we're in the huge orbit thing okay oh my why do we have this flickering i hate this i'm gonna have to check the steam forms because there's definitely a reason for this okay how high are we we're at um what 27k and we are at I think it's time to get to surface and to get yeah 400k okay so no we're no way near where's Urban? Kerbin oh there we are hello Kerbin so let's turn backwards because we want to break with the little fuel we've left and anyways we want to enter backwards so so we're going this way. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love Kerbin like this. Let's... Great. Yeah. Hey, in good game. Nice of you to follow. Welcome to Kerbal and welcome to throwing Kerbals into space. Nice to have you here. So now we're waiting to get our orbit, um, our height above. Let's cheat, okay? Above land. I'm not sure I'm gonna land in the water. So <laughs> um, sometimes it, sometimes you, um, they're a couple kilometers high, and if you miss it and you open your parachutes too late, you crash on Earth because water is below Earth because they are higher than than um, the ocean. So. We're still accelerating, but we are 2,500 meters per second, which is decent, honestly. It's quite decent. We can break this. And anyway, we don't have, um, as you can see, it's not like our orbital missions. We don't have anyone else to get back down. So this thing, if I've built it correctly, has a heat shield. Yeah, it does. That's a hit. And this means that this thing with the heat shield is very stable once you get it turned backwards. And it's really easy to get this back into um, into the atmosphere and break. Other than if you have a cabin back here, this is much more unstable and much harder to keep straight. Because once it flips around, it burns your parachutes, and that's not good. So, um, this is good. This is good. Let's see if our parachutes are the right way. Yeah, we have this one to break and this one to finally bring us down. Since we're only one capsule, one is enough. This we won't want to deploy until we're out of fuel, and we can use the fuel to break. How far are we from the periapsis, by the way? Three minutes. That's good. I think I'm going to break. Oh, whatever. Let's see when we do this. 170. I mean, we could just accelerate here, because as soon as we hit 70k, then it just um, stops my warp, because I cross into the atmosphere. I mean, we won't have the nice space music anymore, but hey. <laughs> hey, and good game. Yeah, I like it that you're, in, that you're having fun. Oh, there we are. We are back into orbit. No, out of orbit, actually. Now we are... Yeah, there's actually no music here. That's sad. I'd have liked it to have some music. Yeah, but maybe it's more important to hear the engines or whatever. <laughs> okay, there we are. Um, we're not... Okay, so now we are... We're burning, which is good. We want to burn. Like, seriously. Um, oh, let's just hope it doesn't flip me around. 
So, um, oh, are we overheating our engine? We are. This is not, like, it's not totally bad, but, I mean, I think we can just throw them off right now. Like, okay, there we are. This is much better. What is this? I've never seen this. What is this? Oh, I think maybe hitting... Oh, yeah. I see what this is. This is that I've hit some keys, them F keys, and something got activated. Let's try to get this away. Uh, no. No. There we are. Aerodynamic forces overlay. I mean, it's nice to see that we're very stable, but I don't know. Those red arrows make me uneasy, so... <laughs> there we are, now we're braking really fast! This is the final part. We're still not at the periapsis, which is very nice, because once we pass it and we get back up, it's harder, because we're not inside such a thick atmosphere, and it's harder to brake. But this is great. I love this. I love how we can get some from so far away. So fast, being so fast. 3,000 meters per second. That's 10 times speed of sound. And you break down just by going through the atmosphere with your heat shield. It's, it's great. It's great. Apart from the fact that it saves a ton of fuel. <laughs> oh, you're asking a question. Hang on. When that is the actual trajectory of rockets re-enter the atmosphere? Is this a question? Like, if this is the actual trajectory? Honestly, if I were, like, planning those trajectories, I think I'd do the same with real rockets, because if you have such a tiny capsule, which is a uh, stable in the, um, in the atmosphere, once it just falls back down, and you have a great heat shield on it, well, it's the best way to break. You don't have to carry fuel all the way back and forth, and it costs much mu well, that much less. It's a statement. Okay, so you actually... I mean, yeah, it makes sense that they do it. Yeah, it's cool. I love that in, in, in Space Kerbal it's quite... Um, it is quite uh, accurate with respect to real space operations in this in this sense. Okay, we're really slow right now, we're still slowing, and we land over the sea, which is always the nicest thing to be. So calm. Okay, now I've realized there is some sound, it's just atmospheric sound, it's just wind blowing through your ears. Now I see why they don't, they don't have music below. Oh, we're at 11k, maybe we should open our parachute, make sure we don't crash into the water. Maybe it can still explode. <laughs> Once you crash down, it doesn't have to be on land. Even though on land it's much easier. Okay, um, you open only at 50, 2.5k. Uh, let's open you earlier, just to be safe. When are you opening? 1000, I think that's good enough. It's good enough. It is good enough. Okay, so now we're getting... Yeah, we're so good. Taking a quick save just for the time, but it's it's really... We're really good. We're really good. 40 meters per second. Really easy to break with the other parachute, so... We've done this. We've gone to the moon. We actually managed to take two measurements plus the two extra missions, which are one of the uh, um, story, and the other one is a general do-something-in-moon-orbit mission. And we got quite some signs, and I think e the temperature measurements are really good. And you're saying, try putting these three micro-landing struts on the pod, then open them when you hit land. Oh, so this is to uh, not break your engine when you land on, on, on the land, right? I've tried those micro landing struts. Honestly, just just on an engine uh, I wanted to use to land on the moon, but um, I couldn't get the right 
I couldn't get them uh, placed right so that they would extend across the engine. They were just so flat and I tried landing just a very very simple spaceship. Makes your pod bounce. I mean if it's a small thing like this it might be an idea. Yeah, until now I've just been landing like with the engines, actually braking with the engine or with the pod itself and just, I don't know, put some parachutes on there and crash down. <clears throat> but it's a good idea to, to put the landing struts on there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try that, to put some uh, micro landing struts on the pod. You mean just on the uh, some very small pod right here, right? Not on the, uh, I don't know, moon lander or whatever greater thing with a engine below that. So, uh, we're good. 6.2 meters per second. Well, below 7. In my experience, 7 meters per second is when you start um, losing stuff that hits the ground. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna try that because um, there's actually some missions. I'm not sure if I want to do this with a spaceship on on Kerbin itself, and obviously we still have to land on the moon. And I think there it could be nice. They, thanks for the advice to take the micro landing struts. I'm not really confident with them, but honestly, I haven't used them much, so it's a good idea. I'm gonna try this next time when we try to. No, actually, next time we're going to try to do the polar orbit on the moon. We're not landing yet. But when we're landing on the moon, which I'll be... I'm planning to do this fairly soon. Then I'll try the, your, your advice and good game. Thank you very much for it. Thank you very much. Yeah, so, here we are. Back on Kerbin. Splashing in right now. And we're good. Come on. Recover, please. Oh yeah, I know, planes are so hard. I've tried this once and I have a friend who's really into planes. Like, he's doing a pilot license right now. 130 signs, this is crazy! Okay, I think next time I'm gonna put some sign stuff on the spaceship next time we get to, um, to the moon just to grab the signs. Oh my god, this is so much. It's great. Oh my god, we're gonna do some, some things right now with this. So yeah, planes are really hard. I tried to build planes. I crashed a lot. I actually man only managed to build two flyable planes and uh, um, for long distances, but it's so hard to get it right and it's so much fiddling and oh my god, yeah, really. I've always uh, I've always also read that planes in uh, Kerbal are actually not physically realistic. Like to get lift, you have to turn the wings kind of you don't have real um, aerodynamic forces on the wings, but yeah, I mean it, it, it's experience, honestly. <laughs> I mean the first plane, I I built like ten planes and only one worked for just a little bit, and then the last plane I built was like I don't know, also ten minutes till I got it mostly right and I I could make it um, take off. But yeah, <laughs> I totally feel that. I totally know what you're talking about. So crazy. That's why I'm doing spaceships right now because I'm more confident doing that than doing planes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, cool of a good game to join me, to join us here. Very cool of you. And I think we're gonna wrap this up. We've done the signs. We've got our mission. Yeah, here it is. We have done the milestone. We've gathered scientific data from the moon. We've explored it, we've gathered some science, two temperature measurements, got tons of science over here we can spend, and yeah. Oh, there's a mod that makes aerodynamics realistic. How's this mod called? I might be interested in, try in trying that out, because the planes, I mean, they're so unrealistic you kind of feel it. So, that's cool if it doesn't make it, like sometimes mods break Kerbal a little bit and I'm like I don't want I don't know if I want to break it right now that I'm doing this run but how's this mod called that does uh, real aerodynamic things 
just write it in the chat. And uh, I'm gonna, I think, I might, I might try this out with planes. I have a couple of planes and I wanted to do something, not spaceships yet, because I simply don't have the technology um, unlocked, but I might be doing something planes and, um, yeah, whatever, if you find the mod, you can just send it to me. And um, I'm gonna check that out, because it's really, yeah, planes are really cool. And I love that you can combine them with space, but I, I simply, I think I haven't put it enough hours into it to get it. But I, I'm going to look for it. I'm going to look for a realistic or dynamics, because that could make planes really cool in Kerbal. Yeah, so thank you very much for joining in. And I think I'm going to see you next time. Goodbye.